Hey guys, welcome to AngularJS framework based tutorial. I am Ripon Dutto. In this series of tutorial, I will be showing you how to write AngularJS framework based web application. Alright, I hope you are super excited to learn AngularJS based web application. Alright, so uh, before starting anything, I just want to say I am going to use similar example from AngularJS website which is very easy for beginners. Alright, so let's create a project. Um, I am going to use NetBeans but in your case you can use whatever you want. And I want to give the project name um, as part 1 under AngularJS for beginner. Okay, finish. So this is our basic template HTML page. So what we need to do is we need to add couple of references for example AngularJS and Bootstrap. So first of all go to the AngularJS website. So AngularJS and go to the AngularJS.org From here you can see or you can click download, you can download the complete package but uh, I am going to use the CDN, you can see this is the CDN. So I am copying that CDN link then I am going to NetBean project then I am writing a script source equal that link and even you can close it here alright then what I need I need the style sheet which is you know bootstrap so go to the bootstrap official website so I need to go to the bootstrap Okay. Then getting started because I need the CDN link which is here so I can take this link right copy and paste it here that's it and if you want to add your own custom CSS you can even add it or JS also first of all I want to increase the font size so you can look at properly font okay font and colors what I need font size here I am going to use um, what 16 I think it's okay apply and let's see is it okay for you guys mm. I think so. Alright, so we have added the AngularJS, CDN and Bootstrap. So we can make the title for AngularJS part 1. Okay. For now we don't have any deep or any content. So what can we do is first of all we have to add AngularJS directive so AngularJS directive I have to include in the HTML tag so what I have to do is ng-app you can see there are you know you have a list of directives over here but in this case I need to add ng-app this directive is used to flag the HTML element that Angular should consider to be the root element of our application. For now, we don't have any directive names, I mean any module there, so uh, only you need to add ngapp. Then, 
for this basic example I want to add something let's say P okay so inside of the P will come to angular JS tutorial all right and what you can do uh, in this first lesson I can introduce one thing which is angular JS expression for example you have to write all angular JS expressions inside of the double curly braces okay so here I want to add what quotation marks over here okay but these quotation marks are a string so you need to include single quotations or double quotations over there all right and even you can remove the rest space now it's time to look at in the browser so what you have to do is you have to select your browser I am going to use Chrome I have selected the Chrome then I have to run the project or simply right click index then run file all right as you can see that our page is displaying welcome to angular JS I made a mistake this is angular JS tutorial then what I have to save and I have to run again angular JS tutorial so you can see I have added three exclamation marks there which is inside of the angular JS expression but these are strings so it will just display that string with the previous string okay so in this lesson what you have learned you have learned what you have to add at the HTML tag which is ng app that means this tells the HTML document that we are going to use angular JS inside of the HTML okay and you also learn how to add your script uh, I mean angular JS script in the uh, in the project okay then you have learned how to add angular JS expressions in the body